This is a really special panel because all of you have been in the field and had, you know, campaigns that with good days, bad days, good strategies and bad. I just wonder, what do you think are the lessons learned, if any, from this last uh, go round? And, you know, what do you think Democratic candidates should be taking from it as they look ahead to the next cycle? I think I want to talk about the issue of abortion and choice. One of the things that happened in Kansas is they did a lot of research, what messages work, and the freedom message worked. Is this my right, my freedom, my body? And the the Democrats up and down in states where this was on the ballot, in these state races that where where the issue of choice made such a difference, they stuck with that freedom message. They didn't get in the weeds about when this would happen or or late. I mean, they just didn't get in the weeds. They made values arguments. And I, I hope that what we take from this is that we can't be wonky. We have to speak to people where they are. And that's about values. I'm going to get uh, very operational here. So one reason that a number of our Democratic incumbents in the House came back and we did so well is because they had the resources to be on TV. And so there is a a federal candidate's discount in buying TV ads. So basically, a candidate for Congress can buy TV at normally one-fifth the price, 20% the price of a super PAC or any other organization. So if a Congress woman and congressman spend a thousand dollars for TV, a Republican super PAC, for example, had to spend five thousand in order to match the, the same ratings points. And Democratic incumbents had a four to one advantage uh, basically in money. And so even though Republicans in dollar amounts outspent Democrats, they really didn't have a big advantage in actual TV time because of how much our incumbents had raised. So donating to your favorite member of Congress in terms of their frontline members is very important. A second thing I want to point out is field is very important. During the pandemic, uh, we lost a number of close races uh, by a few hundred votes, uh, sometimes by a few dozen votes, because we didn't think knocking a bunch of doors in the middle of pandemic was a great idea. We didn't do that this time. We had a massive field program in many of these districts, and I think that mattered, especially because of early voting. That's now given campaigns the ability to go after people who haven't voted yet and really drill down on the more infrequent voters. And I think the Republicans are shooting themselves in the foot by telling people not to do mail by mail ballots and not to do early voting. And that makes it hard for them uh, to turn out uh, the voter base that they need. I'm going to do less, less operational. I would have advice to candidates, which is go everywhere. Uh, Heidi is really focused on rural areas. This is, of course, statewide. But, you know, one of the great things about representing a state is you meet everybody. And that means you meet people who are Republicans and candidates win. Candidates can win by being really good. And part of being really good is going around and showing people that you care about them and that you're a person, a human being. And I think that's just advice for candidates is, and again, that's a statewide thing, but uh, door knocking, of course, is, is huge. And I think we, we dropped the ball in 20 because, you know, Unite Here, which is the hospitality unions, they were on the doors in Nevada and in uh, Arizona and in Georgia and in Pennsylvania in the last cycle, we we took ourselves out of it. The Biden campaign did to model good behavior, but but they did they did model good behavior. They had very few COVID cases, so I, I would love if our candidates made sure that they got out there and talked to people. You know, when Ted Cruz went to Cancun, and then he lied and said, oh, I was only going to drop the girls off. And then, <laughs> and I remember he said, oh, I'm going to go back and help. And Ben Shapiro said, uh, the right wing jerk yeah. said, uh, well, what can he do anyway? And Heidi knows that you're one of only two 
national government officials that represent your whole state. And there's a whole bunch you can do. But one of the things that you do, I learn more in disasters. I learn more in tornadoes. I learn more in floods about the people in Minnesota than I can tell you. And you see people stepping up. And you don't care whether they're Republican or Democrat. 